All right, well, here's my 94 Ford Ranger. Uh, a little more than two years ago, the passenger side front wheel began dragging. The brake began to lock up while I was driving. Uh, I took it apart, took the caliper apart, and cleaned it up, greased the slides, reassembled, and I was fine for about two years, and I drove about uh, 15,000 miles or so. Then it began again, so I replaced the brake lines, inner brake lines on each side, and here we are 250 miles after that and it's locking up so i've decided that i'm just going to go ahead and replace the brake calipers on both sides and the pads okay, just for reference this is uh, the parts that i'm installing that's for the passenger side driver side a little two packet of grease and my new brake pads get a better shot in here you see here's the nice new hose just got to take this caliper off and go on from there. All right, now I'm going to show you what I believe is probably the easier way to get the slide out. I took a, I take a screwdriver, flathead, I'll stick it right there. I take another flathead and I'll put it right there. And out it goes. All right, bottom slides out. I'll try this out. This might not necessarily be the best way to do it. I'm not a professional mechanic. This is for entertainment. There we go. Now, I'm not too worried about letting it hang on the brake hose because the brake hose is brand new. If it had been an older one, I would have hung it from something because I didn't want to move it. But this hose is two weeks old. So here we are. Got to remove this and then we'll slide and install the new caliper and put a new banjo boat, new, two new crush washers. Uh, we'll bleed the brakes and we'll put new pads in before we, before we bleed them, grease the slides, all that. We'll clean all where the slides go. And we'll have a complete brake job and it'll be the same as on the other side. Alright, just so, uh, so you know, this is a 14 millimeter banjo bolt. Alright, um, I didn't break it free at first while it was still on the truck, while it was still mounted. Because I just put it on here very recently and I had an impact wrench and I was able just to bump it real quick so it wasn't a big deal. It was just easier for me that way. Um, so, now I'm going to go ahead and remove this. All right. Old brake. Old crush washer. Old banjo bolt. Let that drip, brake fluid's cheap. Orient it this way with the bleeder valve above. You are going to insert your banjo bolt with your crush washer through this side. Next crush washer. This way. it this way. Okay. I'm just I'm not gonna do anything, just snug it up just to stop the dripping. Okay. Take my brush. Clean these out. Get my slides, my grease, and grease them up. 
I've kind of got the, got the, this on. Now the brake pads are going to go on this way. The one with the clip needs to go on the outside. Just like that. And then this one. All right, just uh, for reference, please bear with me. The back brake pad goes into this slot here. And then there's another slot right here. So you just simply take your brake pad and it will just sit. Put it in the bottom slot and then it'll slide in the front slot and the top slot and that's all there is to it to installing the rear brake pad or the inner brake pad. All right, it's in there. Now it's time to install the slides. I pre-greased mine, put about that much down each side. Smooth it right on. All right, the easiest way to get the slide in, and I found, is I just took a pair of needle nose pliers. I just gently squeeze, there's, a, in, there's rubber inside of it, I just gently squeeze so it gets started. But notice the little dimples that stick out, those need to be oriented upward so that they'll catch here and here to prevent the slide from going all the way through. So line it up, give it a little squeeze. Okay, take my rubber mallet. Finish it off. Okay. Now, the slide can come this way and that way, but it won't back out. Like I can tap it from this side, but it's not going to go out. I can tap it from that side, it's not going to go through. That slide is now in there. And you do the same thing with the bottom. Squeeze it, put it in, make sure you orient these dimples the correct way so that they catch on not the caliper, but on the bracket that the caliper mounts to. All right, so here we are, uh, all done. Uh, both slides are in. I put the little brake squealer on right here. I took us uh, a brake cleaner and cleaned the rotors. I'm not, they don't feel dimpled or anything like that, so I'm not worried. I cleaned the rotors front and back. Uh, the bearings work, but just to go over the tools real quick, um, I used a couple of flathead screwdrivers, you can ru rubber mallet or hammer, a 14 millimeter wrench or socket, wire brush, a uh, can of brake cleaner, and that's pretty much it except for the new pads and the new caliper. Uh, here's my pad from the back, yeah so we were having problems. You know, I went ahead and torqued this up to 19 foot-pounds. Um, all I have left to do now is have somebody pump on the brake and bleed the brakes with the little bleed valve, and that's it. It's the same on the other side. All right, thank you. If you have any suggestions, give me, a, give me a, a something in the comments, and I'll see if I can make it better.